So in this video, I want to show you how to uh, export out of SketchUp and how to uh, slice a SketchUp model so that you can get a realistic floor plan and also building sections. Okay. So again, remember, we're going to take SketchUp. We're going to use SketchUp to uh, bring our model into uh, the AutoCAD program, and we'll use AutoCAD then to add all the information. Okay. So here's my SketchUp model. A uh, couple things you need to know. Right now we're in perspective view. Okay, if you go up to where is it? Camera, you can see it's perspective view. Okay, if you change it to a parallel projection, you get a different view with with lines that no longer converge. You can see these lines are now parallel. Okay, that line is parallel to that line, is parallel to that line. If I rotate the world. Uh, it kind of looks like a perspective, but it's not, okay? And this is what we use in uh, construction drawings because you can then put dimensions on uh, walls and you don't get this condition where the back of the building is a shorter dimension than the front of the building, which would make it, you know, really hard to understand how to build the building. Uh, side views look flat. They don't have any perspective, okay? Uh, so the first thing you need to do again is you go to camera, you change it to parallel projection. Then you'll notice here we have standard views, and there's shortcuts. I haven't memorized them other than top view, which is command one. Okay. Uh, so for the the elevations, I'll start with those since we have the building basically uh, everything is visible that you need for elevations. You're going to need a front, back, left, and right view. So if I go to front view, there's my elevation. Okay. And that's what I need. Notice the difference between parallel projection and perspective. Perspective, you couldn't build this because you see the side, but you're really trying to focus on the front when you're talking to a builder. Okay, so again, camera, parallel projection. And I already know that I'm on command three. If I hit command four, I get the, the front view of this house, command 5 is a side view, command 6 is a different side view. So 3, 4, 5, and 6 are what you need. So that's the first thing you need to do. Then you go up to export 2D graphic. And remember what we're doing here is we're exporting this view so that we can bring it into an AutoCAD file. So there's an AutoCAD DWG. They have other options here. Um, I'm going to keep it a DWG, which uh, is just going to come into AutoCAD better than a DXF. DXF is more of a universal, you know, all like one size fits all format, which really means it doesn't work perfectly in any format. Where AutoCAD DWG straight to AutoCAD is going to work the best. So I'm going to do that. I don't think I have to do any options here. Full scale. Okay, we'll just see if that works. Um, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to know where it goes. It's going to go into my documents folder. I'll put it on my desktop so I can find it. And I'm going to call this uh, rear elevation so I know what it is. And I'm going to hit export. Okay, and then I get the whirling wheel of happiness going. Exporting model. Wait for it. It doesn't take very long, and there it is. Okay. Um, let me show you what that looks like when I go into AutoCAD. Okay. So I'm going to go into my AutoCAD. Let's see. That's a PDF. I don't think I have an AutoCAD started yet, so I may not show you this right now. Well, I do have an AutoCAD. Okay. Um, I'm not going to explain AutoCAD yet because it's too much to show in this video, but I just want to show you what that looks like when I bring it in here. So now if I go File, Open, and I'm going to find my rear elevation right there, and I'm going to open it in AutoCAD. I'm going to say Continue Opening, and there it is. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. Much more simple than, than SketchUp. Uh, you know, no more colors, just lines. You can see I lost some lines. This is my ground plane here, which disappeared. So the stairs kind of don't have a, a ground, but 
um, I can add a line in there to represent the ground. Okay, and so that's that's what we're going to be then converting into construction drawings. Um, that's all I'm going to show you in this video.